I can't be the only one who has not been enjoying this election. There is a bigger problem going on here. Hillary, Trump, Democrat, Republican. Hermaphrodite or Hermaphrodite. How's it going, everyone? It's your boy, Phase Paintbrush here, back again with another video where I almost died and literally nobody cares. And I probably made it all up anyway because it garners views and shit. Oh boy, it's it's been a while. And wow, do, does anybody still watch my videos anymore? I mean, I used to have at least one legitimate fan of my YouTube channel. And now absolutely nobody watches my videos anymore. <laughs> Great. In order for this video to be incredibly successful, I need to make it longer than 10 minutes so that I could get that sweet, juicy-ass YouTube ad revenue, boy. Because last time I made a video longer than 10 minutes, well, this monstrosity happened. <laughs> <laughs> My soul. Okay, Cringy, you can do this. All you need to do is talk about some random bullshit for views, then mission successful. Okay, so, without further ado, let's get right into the bullshit. So I was walking to a Walmart the other day, and I saw Zarna Joshi, of all people, buying the 30 inches of Doom over there for some reason, and Custom Grow 420 just so happened to be one of the cashiers at the mall. She bought it because she said she wants to be sexually harassed with it because it's humongous. Custom Grow 420 replies with a simple and offers her change as she fucking leaves. No big deal, right? But then it happened. She came up to me asking for my name. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What is your name? What is your name? I told her. My name is Roman Atwood, making daily vlogs and original pranks on YouTube. She obviously got triggered because she thought I was trying to kidnap her by putting her into a concussion when vice versa happened. Some time has passed, I woke up at her temple of the feminazis with that red-haired bitch named, uh, you know the one, Chanty Binks, stripping on a pole. And after seeing that, I had possibly the worst aneurysm I've ever had in my entire life. My face, my hands, my entire body felt like it was melting after seeing those ugly ass love handles and unshaved armpits, legs, and pussy. Uh, too much information. My, my aneurysm was so severe, I fainted within like a couple of seconds after seeing that. It was that fucking bad, yo. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm getting pussy, aren't The next thing I knew, I was somehow in a fucking box being shipped to god knows where. You know how big YouTubers would get in a fucking huge ass box with a bunch of food in it and they would ship themselves to some stupid ass address? Hopefully a back alley of, or some shit, I don't fucking know. And they call it the human mail challenge? <sighs> it, it's as stupid as it sounds. Also, why the fuck do they talk about some random bullshit for the first half of the video and then they actually record themselves in the box the later half? I'm pretty sure it doesn't take five minutes to show us how it's done. It's just you in a box recording yourself inside a box, you know? Talk about milking that ad revenue for what it's worth, am I right? Uh, wink, wonk, nudge, nudge, say no more. It's exactly like that, except it's definitely totally not staged at all, or fake, or made up in any sort of way. At, at least they were nice enough to leave in a steak and cheese panini from Tim Hortons for me to eat. Oh my god, I fucking love those so much, it makes my fucking mouth water whenever the thought of it comes across. <clears throat> I, I'm sorry, I got carried away there. I finished my steak and cheese panini. I'm good now. I think. Anyways, I was in the box, all cramped in this tight little box. Even though there's all this fucking space here, but still, this is, this is way too small for me. At least that's what I thought at first. But then, I moved one inch, and I've never felt so alive in my life. And it's a box! 
My, my life is that fucking pathetic. And then I finally found a way to entertain myself. I like to call it Ladies Night. Or maybe even Tammy's Night. Uh, oh shit, too much information. Too much information! Relax, it's not what you think it is. It's just me going nuts in a box for 10 seconds. No nudity promise. Two to the one for the one to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed, you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Three to the one for the one to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the deep. Let me tell you how I made a leave with me. Conversation and hate a seat. Oh well, close enough. But I'm off track here. I gotta continue my true and not at all fake story. So a few hours have passed. I was hearing some rustling on one of the boxes I was in. My box was being opened by someone else. Who could possibly open my sacred sanctuary that is known as my own box that I was in? And then I saw it. The deformed head. The mutated melting Malteser that we all know and love. Blasphemous HD who is also a part of the Stomity family tree. This is strange because, according to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a creature like him should be able to speak. Its mouth is too weirdly shaped to get its fat little mouth open. The creature, of course, talks anyway, because Maltesers don't care what us mortals think is impossible. And Blasphemous HD was surprised because he was trying to make a reaction video to my reaction to his reaction to my reaction of his own video's reaction to other reactions. Reactionception. So he was about to pull out his Gatling gun as I was trying to run away from the cave he lives in. He opens fire without any sort of hesitation as I jump off of some random cliff nearby as explosions appear behind my back to stimulate some sort of shitty action sequence. It took me about two and a half centuries to get back to my home planet called Earth. Yup, turned out I was on Pluto this entire time and I had to extend the length of the video even further so that I could get some more money off of a YouTube video and I know I've said this already but I just want to repeat what I'm saying over and over and over and over again is the video 10 minutes yet ah uh -uh, fuck what should I say to further extend the length of the video hmm Oh, oh yeah, am I injured in any sort of way? Well, for starters, I can't seem to find my dick right now. Uh, I think it's turned inside out, but I prefer to have a vagina and run away like a pussy than to have balls because it takes balls to take on a behemoth like Blasphemous HD. So I got some good and bad experiences from this. I also received mild brain damage and I think my wife just left me and cheated on me. What? What's that? You never knew I had a wife? What, what, are, what are you, fucking gay? What are you, fucking gay? What are you, fucking, what are you fucking, 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 fucking gay? Well, allow me to introduce her to this shit channel. Right hand, this is one person. One person, right hand. Now, right hand, what do you have to say for yourself? <gasps> what's that? I cheated on you. Oh yeah, that that's right. I cheated on you with my left hand. I'm I'm sorry. I'll take the L for that one. Anyways, guys, I'm hoping I can end this video off right here, but I'm running out of things to say. Just trying to desperately reach that 10 minute mark. Ooh. So that's it for my not made up story at all. If you don't believe me, after all of that, well, uh, b believe me, my stories are never fake, and you guys cannot fucking prove me wrong on that. I can almost guarantee it. So, to end this video off, I'll sing the cringy dingy national anthem. <clears throat> it seems today that all you see is the worst YouTuber named Cringy Dingy. But where are those good old cringy values on which they would make us cry? Luckily I want to die. Lucky there's a kid who's setting up his own news. All the things he needs to fucking die. Please jump off a cliff. I'm so fucking sorry for that. I'm never singing again.